Today we have ticket number 12513 and it's a Huawei laptop, Huawei. Just love, I love pronouncing it, Huawei. Huawei laptop that doesn't power on, the battery's not receiving a charge, and I'll show you why in a second. I've had a few of these now, and it's the same story every single time. This isn't just one pad that's been ripped off, or in fact, even a charging port that's just gone bad. All of the traces have been ripped off with this charging port. Here we have the actual port itself, and uh, on the face of it, you think, ah, it doesn't look too bad, Joey, what are you talking about? Stop moaning. And all of a sudden, if we give this a little wiggle, look at that, every single trace has been torn. I'm pretty sure anyway. I'll confirm when I take it off, but you can see, yeah, it's just ridiculous. And unfortunately, we can't just leave this port on, repair the traces, and then solder it to each individual pin because the plastic is just brittle inside. So eventually, it's just going to rip all these traces again. So the whole connector will need to be replaced. And by the looks of it, I think oh, I said it was around about 18 of these need to be sorted. Let's take this port off the board just so we can see exactly what the damage is looking like. Apply a tiny bit of flux just around the area. We do have an LED here, so I'm going to heat up from the bottom of the board and pull the port off slowly. Like I said, they're all pretty much rip traces anyway, so it doesn't necessarily matter which ones that we ruin now, but I'll try and keep it to a minimum if I can. There are no other charging ports on this device, so this is the only one. If, um, if in the event that you had another USB-C port, you could just say to the customer, you can use that. But unfortunately, we don't have that option. The port is loose. I'm just making sure that the traces aren't going to rip. So I'll lift up now very slowly. There we go. So it's difficult to actually see how many we have. I think I've done a video on this previously and I had some people in the comments saying that because uh, I think I only used one of these traces on this pad and exactly the same here where you can see that there's meant to be two here and three here. And people were saying that using one wasn't enough. So I'm going to double up on these or even, you know, do three on here and two on here. And a quick clean is simply with isopropyl alcohol. Just to get rid of any flux that might still be existing on the board. Whilst I'm here, actually, I'm just going to clean out these ground holes. And unfortunately, I don't have any low melt solder, so I'm going to have to use leaded to try and clear them out, which is fine. Worst case, we just go for the quick and easy solder sucker. But because the, the board is quite thin, I'd rather not. I think I might be able to just get away with using the leaded. And come in with our wick. Has my, uh, my tips cracked? I just noticed. Look at that. Ah. I wonder how long that's been like that for. Luckily, we have a replacement right on hand. A bit more flux. Any extra pads that fall off now, I know they're only ground, but they weren't fit for purpose after a clean. Grab our new port. Definitely fits. Yep. And I don't know whether, uh, I'm just trying to work out whether it's going to be easier to put the traces on beforehand and then just flow the port into place or put the port into place and then sort the traces. My usual technique is sort the traces out and then flow the port into place. So I, I'm, I believe I'm going to do that. This is extremely intricate work and uh, it might not do it justice on the screen to see how small these little traces are. So I'll try and give you a point of reference. This is the end of a tweezer. These are the ends of the tweezer. So a trace is smaller than the ends of this tiny, tiny tweezer. And to show you the ends of the tiny, tiny tweezer, in comparison to my face, this is them. In comparison to my finger, look at that. That's the, that's the tiny, tiny end of that tweezer. And that's what it looks like when we're dealing with these traces.
All right, I think we're good. I just need to add some final touches just by straightening up some of these. Not necessarily all of them. Some of them seem to be okay. And then once we've straightened them up, we're going to apply some conformal coating just to make sure that nothing bridges underneath, which is an extremely important factor. Okay, good. Trim maybe that little leg off there. There we go. Should be okay. Now we cure it with our little UV lamp thing. This is how we're now looking. So I should just be able to drop the port on. I'm going to fill up these ground holes real quick with solder. Flow the port into place and then just solder the legs to these traces here. Have to be careful to not shift any of these pads. Easily done. I'll go over the port afterwards just to make sure it's nice and secure. Let's put that port on. Needs to be nice and steady here. Slowly rotate the hot air underneath. All I'm waiting for is the holes to turn molten. There is, however. Let's get rid of that little bit of wire. Okay, so the holes are molten. Ports on, barely. Let's get it into place. Tapping it down. Okay. Port is definitely sat flat. I just need to go through now and tin up the pads. So this is gonna require plenty of flux. And in theory, I should just be able to tap down. But I do need, I think I'm going to need a little bit of solder on my iron. And I'll just need to keep refreshing it as I go along. These two can bridge, that's fine. We kind of want them to, to make it more secure. Let's be so careful here. I think that's okay. I think we've done it. A little bit more flux. I'm just going to add a bit of solder here. If the, again, if these bridge, it's fine. There we go. All right. I think we're okay. All right. Nice. Let's give it a clean up. Looking pretty hunky dory. Okay, which one was it that I need to go over, perhaps? This one? Yeah, I think it was this one. We'll just make sure on this one. Just here. A little bit of solder, a little bit of uh, flux, sorry. Don't need any additional solder, I don't think. I just need to touch it a little bit more. There we go. Okay, I'll add a little bit of solder, actually. I mean, that's quite a lot, but again, at that point, the more the merrier, because now that is definitely attached. Perfect. One more clean because we've just added a little bit of flux there. If I clean this up and uh, and any of them break, they won't fit for purpose, simple as that, and I'll have to redo them. But we're looking good. That's what it looks like from this angle, and you can see that they're all connected, which again is really good news. I do need to ensure that the back of the port is also stable. It looks okay, I'm just gonna add a tiny bit of flux. 
and clean up the back area as well. The fact that this here is actually joint onto this is probably pretty good if I'm being honest. Not too much because I don't want it to affect any of the screws that we put in, but it's giving the port the extra security it needs. Just want to ensure it's going through. Nice. If that to solidify before moving over here, because I do not want this port falling out, if I'm being honest. Quick clean. There we go. We're going to uh, we're going to get this reassembled, and then we give it a test to make sure it's okay. But that looks like a good job. I tell you what, I might do if we do confirm it's okay. I uh, I might put some solder mask further down so that just in case any of those pins they shouldn't do but they they could potentially bridge i mean if the customer pushes in the port and uh i don't want it bending any of these th again theoretically that shouldn't happen but I might just add some conformal coating just to make sure that none of them bridge in between it's not going to really add too much extra strength just a nice finish the laptop works as it should i don't know why i'm holding this flux the laptop works as it should so again hopefully it's going to be one happy customer hope you enjoyed this one i know i did it's a great practice when i get to do these trace repairs and i will see you in the next one peace